boy, Josh Emmett is tough. But man, that was one of the biggest beatings in recent times. Ilya Tapuria dominated Josh Emmett for five rounds with pretty much just a clear difference in boxing skill. Now, firstly, who was that judge that gave Josh Emmett a round? There's no way Josh Emmett won any of those rounds at all. He easily lost every single one of them. I understand he's tough and he deserves respect for it, but to give him a round is ludicrous. I mean, it's absolute debauchery. What did Emmett do to win any of those rounds? He came on pretty strong in the fifth because he had to do something, but he only landed one punch that affected Ilya. The rest of that round, he was getting beat down again, right? Got stunned in the round, got taken down, got destroyed by Taporia the whole fight. And people can make a mistake of differentiating the game plan of Taporia with the execution. His game plan was actually pretty simple. But his execution was very technical and somewhat complex. Yuli Tapoya would throw out a jab or sometimes just faint forward to establish in front of Emmett that he's going to attack. Right, he's going to get Emmett's sensors, start firing. Emmett's going to have to respond. He has to do something big here and he would oftentimes counter. So this jab or feint sometimes even the one two from Ilya Taporia. but if he throws the one two he's not gonna throw that right hand with all of his power even the jab nothing he's throwing initially is full power everything's a bait and to measure distance at the same time so it's kind of like a measuring stick with a bait at the end that's all he's doing with this he's trying to get Josh Emmett out of his shell to throw something big because Josh Emmett is at his most vulnerable after he throws a punch and why is that is because Emmett overreaches, overcommits with all of his punches. Every single time he throws some big punch, which is 99% of his attacks, the guy doesn't really set up his shots too well. He's big movements and big punches at all times. There's a giant opening for him to get countered, and that's where Ilya Taporia would move away, evade the big shot with various different defenses. He'd be able to move away because the jab, feint, or slight one-two that he throws at Emmett also allows him to retract it. If he threw it full power, now he can't retract it the same way. So that's another reason why he let off the power of his initial attack so he can retract and evade Emmett's counterpunch. Emmett is not going to be able to retract his because he's throwing with all of his power. So Tapur is able to hop away from Emmett's punch, always having his guard up and also sometimes shoulder rolling the punch, turning his head away from the punch, which is something that only elite level strikers can do. And the guy's only 26 years old with not that much experience in MMA. And he's doing that stuff against those punches. You can see as Josh Emmett is throwing that big overhand, Ilya doesn't even move away from it. He's confident enough where he can stay right in front of it and just turn his head away from the punch. The punch does not connect on Ilya. It goes right past him. That's how confident Ilya Taporia was standing in front of the power of Josh Emmett. And that allows him to counter the very open Josh Emmett. That was the major story of the whole fight. That sequence happened so many times and it's actually going to be the majority of what I'm going to talk about later in the video. And every single time I do mention it, always notice that Taporia's hands are up at his head. His defenses are very solid. Very little opening that he gives Emmett. And as you could tell, it's a much more patient approach from Ilya Taporia showing his maturity in his skills. And whenever Emmett tried to pressure him or try to take the center of the cage, feints were a big thing for Taporia to constantly get him guessing and move around. Every single time Taporia fainted forward, he took a step forward, Emmett would try to evade him and move around. That's where Taporia started to find those leg kicks and they were damaging Emmett. So not only was his face getting beat up, but his legs were too. And the leg kicks are going to cause Emmett to move away. It's going to get the respect out of him. And that's where the jab start getting put onto him. And that's where the right hand start to come out there to bait out Emmett's big overhands. And that's where Taporia would counter him. That was the overall story of the fight, if you want to put it in basic terms. But the way that he was defending the punches and the specific punches he used to counter Emmett were amazing and technical. Now, before I get into those moments of the fight, Josh Emmett's corner doomed him from the beginning. So firstly, Josh Emmett is known to throw big overhands and stuff like that, but we've seen him throw big uppercuts and other punches and fights as well, not just looping punches all over the place. When he went to the corner after the second round, his corner told him, throw your overhand over those lazy jabs. That's what his team alpha male coaches told him. Throw your big punches over those quote unquote lazy jabs. There are a couple things very wrong about that. Number one, they were not lazy jabs at all. They were stiff jabs damaging Emmett's face and even hurt him a couple times in the fight. That's number one. And number two, you do not want to bank on your overhands throwing them over jabs like that. Especially someone who shoulder rolls as well as Taporia did. Taporia was shoulder rolling in the first round. That should have told not only Emmett, but especially his coaches, who Emmett is trusting in this, to not do something like that because he's only going to shoulder roll after the jab. It's a natural motion after you throw it. And they didn't tell him to get away from that game plan. They didn't tell him to do anything too much different. So what did Emmett do in the next three rounds? Trying to throw the overhand over the jab. And it never worked, not even once. And of course it didn't. It doesn't work like that. I was very, 
very shocked that his corner told him that. Once I heard that out of his coaches, I knew he was done because his coaches are not telling him a good answer for the jab and he's not figuring it out either. The jab dictated the whole fight for Ilya Tapuria. And Emmett wasn't setting up his punches really that much after the first two rounds. I think this came from the damage that Ilya was dishing out on him and from his corner's advice as well. So he started loading up big, throwing big punches instead of setting them up behind a jab, which actually he was doing in the first and second rounds. As you can see, he's throwing big right hands and Tapuria is just slipping right on the outside of it, sees it a mile away. And he was doing that the whole fight whenever Emmett was not setting up his punches. In the first round, Emmett was actually throwing a jab before his right. He was actually setting up better than usual and then just went away from it after his corner's advice. I mean, Josh Emmett was throwing so hard in the fight that there was a point in the beginning of the fourth round where he got himself off balance after blitzing at Tapuria. And pretty interesting, it was one of the only times after his coach's advice of throwing the overhand over the jab that he actually set up and caught Tapuria in that blitz. One of the rare times Emmett actually set up his combinations. And here we get to some of the moments of the fight here. Ilya Tapuria was so on point with countering Emmett's punches. He was so aware of where the punches were coming from and how to evade them. Even in the first round before he felt out the fight appropriately, he was still able to parry the jab outward and counter over it as it drops with his right overhand. This is actually something that Josh Emmett wanted to do in theory. This is what his coaches were telling him to do, but he didn't parry, he didn't set up the overhand, he just threw the overhand, that's all he was doing. Ilya Tapuria did what Josh Emmett was told to do, but with more skill. And here we get to that next moment where Tapuria executed his game plan perfectly. So he throws a jab at the same time Emmett moves forward. This is in the first round, as Emmett was setting up his right hand off of his jab before his corners told him to just throw the overhand. So as they both throw a jab and they both slip on the outside, here comes Josh Emmett's big overextended punch and Tapuria bit it out perfectly. He moves away, look at how that left shoulder is up and his right hand is up at his head. Perfect defense, hops away from the big punch and look at that big opening. This is why he was doing it. Emmett is so vulnerable whenever he throws punches like that. This was like the first time Tapuria did this though and he pulled away his own punch before it fully extended. His elbow was completely bent and he pulls it away where he could have connected on Josh Emmett. It looked like he wasn't confident in actually throwing the punch there. And then he goes and tries it again almost 30 seconds later. He moves forward and throws a jab and Emmett throws one of his own as well. This is again in the first round. Emmett does the exact same thing. He tries to follow it up with a big overhand and Tapuria has the same defense. Shoulder rolls the punch, right hand up to his head just in case, maximizing his defense on all corners, and look how that punch slides right off the shoulder. Perfect defense from Ilya Tapuria. He's hopping away and plants as he throws the right hand straight at Emmett and this time does extend the punch connecting clean. But he furthers on the combination and they both trade with each other. This is something he doesn't do that much afterward. He did this in the first round where he was feeling out the fight more. He throws a big left hook and just misses the punch, throws it a bit too short, and Emmett throws a left hook of his own, which misses the target as his eyes gets off of Tapuria. His eyes are off the target, the punch hits Tapuria's chest. And again, every time Emmett throws a big punch, he's gonna leave himself open. Here's the big right overhand from Ilya Tapuria, dinging Emmett right to the temple. And then toward the end of the first round, you were starting to see that Tapuria was getting so much more used to Emmett's attacks. He was starting to feel out the range a lot better and even just pull countering Emmett's right hand. He would lean away from it, also move his head, which is something he does very often, and counters him with the left hook at the exact same time. All of Tapuria's actions happening at once. And here we get to see a lot of Ilya's defense here. So he feints forward, takes a step toward Emmett, which baits out that big right hand again. Emmett has a big tell where he ducks so low, you know he's going to charge forward and Ilya's going to act like a matador. Very ironic because that's exactly what he did the whole fight, acting like a matador against the bull. So instead of throwing the overhand, Emmett comes up with an uppercut and Tapuria starts hopping away. He's guarding his body with his left arm which blocks the punch seems to block the left hook as well and when that left hand is coming notice how Ilya's body position is toward his left now he's turning away from every punch and here comes the right hand from Emmett as he's hopping into it which is very unorthodox very awkward and Ilya moves his head with the punch and also ducks right under it elbow framing on Emmett to keep some distance at the same time you don't see a lot of people do this enough distance for himself to feel where Emmett's body is with his elbow so he knows the distance that he needs in order to land a counter shot and also keep a little bit of separation between him and Emmett so Emmett can't go for a takedown or a clinch or something like that. And Emmett's moving very fast into him where Tapuria is able to counter him with that right hook. 
perfect shot from Ilya Tapuria. And here we get to see an example of Tapuria throwing his right hand instead of the jab or the feint. And we're tracking that because he takes off a lot of the power from it, but he's just reaching forward and using it as a bait. So he throws out a long right hand with no setup, very dangerous actually, just touches Emmett with it, and he's able to retract the punch and hop away, knowing that Emmett is going to return fire. Here comes the big left overhand from the southpaw stance, and Tapuria does the same exact thing. Doesn't matter which stance it is, it's always going to be the same opening. He moves away from the left overhand and doesn't fire with a counter. He's just watching Josh Emmett's movements. Here's something a little bit different from Ilya. So he feints forward, takes a big step and shows his right side. Make it look like he's going to throw another right hand again. So he's stemming this off of what he just did prior. Emmett takes the bait in the orthodox stance and throws the big right straight. Not an overhand this time. But it doesn't matter, Tapuria saw the punch coming, he slips on the outside of it as well as leaning away, and as he sees Emmett switching stances forward and ducking as well, every time Emmett ducks he's looking to throw a big punch, Tapuria hops away from him and lines up that big right overhand around the arm, catching Emmett clean. He does something quite similar where he throws in a step in jab and Emmett actually parries it. He parries it to the side and is trying to draw Ilya into his big left hook which is a different kind of counter than before. But Ilya still was able to pull away from it. Same defense yet again from a different punch. Big overcommitment and overextension from Emmett causes that opening on his left side and Tapuria counters him with the right hand. But if you notice in this one, he didn't move back as far. His step aways are becoming a lot shorter, which means that he's getting much more used to the distance. Or what about here where Emmett explodes from a distance with the left hook, no setup, big winging punch that Ilya saw a mile away, and notice how Ilya puts both of his hands up as well as moves away from the punch ever so slightly, hopping back into the right counter as he plants connecting on Josh Emmett clean. Emmett actually moved forward into the punch because of how much he overcommitted with the left hook. He moved with his body forward into the punch. He sets up his next right hand off of his left hook trying to continue the combination. But Emmett actually does a good job of ducking right under the punch. But every time he ducks, you know he's going to throw something big. He throws a right uppercut toward the body. As Ilya Tapuria's body is squared, look at Tapuria's body position. His whole body is right in front of Emmett. But he retracts his own right hand and gets bladed. He goes sideways to Josh Emmett, picking up his right hand just in case for that left hook and also with his left arm he's guarding his body making that right uppercut glide right across the arm deflecting it effectively and M is looking for the big left hook and notice that he doesn't take off an angle so the punch is going across his own body which is going to decrease a lot of the power when you throw a hook across your body like this you're taking off the power the further to the side your opponent is if Ilya was on the other side it would have been a lot more devastating but because he's on Emmett's right side the left hook is going to be so weak when it gets to the target and also at the same time Tapuria blocks it with that right guard he held that entire time. Beautiful defense from Ilya Tapuria. Here we go again. Ilya comes forward with the jab, connects it this time, and here comes Emmett trying to come over the top with that right overhand, and Tapuria ducks under the punch and actually lets go of his left guard. He turns his head away and is ducking at the same time. The punch of course misses, and Emmett is drawing his body forward because of all the commitment into his punches, which now he's going to get into the southpaw and look for the big left hand. Tapuria though is hopping away just like always. Notice the defense. Right hand up to his head, left arm across the body, looking a shoulder roll, and Emmett it overextends with the big left hook as Tapuria hops away, perfectly evading it. And there's the opening. Tapuria fires down the center with the right straight, catching Josh Emmett. Now here's something a little bit different from Tapuria where he dropped Emmett in the fourth round. He's coming forward. He feints first just to get Emmett to back up a bit closer to the fence, restricting his movement. And he noticed that Emmett's right hand is up. So he tries to grab onto it and pull it down as he throws the right straight across the other side. But Emmett was onto it. He didn't take the bait on his right side. He was focused on his left, picks up the left guard and ducks on the punch, which you know every time Emmett ducks, he's going to throw some big punch. Winging a big left hook and it's going to be the left hand. The reason why it's going to be the left hand is because Tapuria pulled down his right hand. So he's looking to counter with a big left hook. But Tapuria counters him way too quickly with a short left of his own. Look at the difference in how wide they threw their punches. M is thrown from the bleachers. His arm is all the way out to his side. Whereas Tapuria has that perfect boxing textbook left hook. Short in the pocket, very little wind up. Arm is in his position and just goes right to the target. 
No detour with the arm like Emmett's is, and that's all you need to hurt your opponent. Taporia is moving back after the punch, which shows how secure he is in his own defense, and he drops Emmett with the punch. But we do have to give credit for Emmett, he did have one good moment in the third round, where Taporia moves forward and he fakes with his right side, showing it, trying to get Emmett's attention there. But he's throwing up a left shovel hook to the body, very similar to the punch that he threw at Jai Herbert, setting up the combo that knocked him out. But it's scary when he does this because he drops his right hand all the time. This is a habit that he has that can actually get exploited later in his career. This is something to take note moving forward. Drops his right hand when he throws his left uppercut to the body. And Emmett throws a big left overhand which would have been perfect for this. But the problem that he had was that he took his eyes off of Taporia. Look as he's throwing the punch, his eyes are off of Taporia. He doesn't even know where he's throwing it. If he had his eyes on the target, he would have landed on Taporia and probably would have hurt him here because that punch would have been right to the jaw. But instead, the punch lands toward the neck and Taporia's trying to land an overhand, but it's a very weird angle because Emmett is right under his body. He overextends for that big counter that he was looking for and Emmett is moving off to his own left side, which is drawing momentum into his right hand. Touching Taporia with the punch, Taporia's trying to counter him, actually getting reckless. Emmett ducks his head, takes his eyes off of Taporia and happens to evade the punch at the same time. He's moving away from the danger and he throws up another big left hook and that right hand from Taporia misses. They do throw combinations at each other and all the punches are missing. And that is ultimately the end of the breakdown. A fantastic performance from Ilya Taporia showing a big discrepancy in boxing between him and his top 5 opponent. This guy went from number 9 fighting the top 5 and he just destroyed the guy who fought for the interim title in his last fight. Just a masterclass performance, genius work from Ilya Tapuria, proving to be one of the best boxers in the featherweight division. It's tough to say if he's exactly the best because he was fighting Josh Emmett. If he's doing something like this to like Max Holloway or Arnold Allen or something, now we're talking. But Josh Emmett is one of the more obvious punchers in the top 10. But nonetheless, with that kind of performance, I wouldn't be mad in Taporia getting a title shot. And leave in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you think Taporia should get the next title shot? Because there isn't a long lineup there. Everybody already fought Volk. I think it would make sense for Taporia to get that shot. And also, do you like his chances against Volk or Yair? Leave that in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.